Shiva means uh, to become an anger. You know what's an anger? A limb of Shiva. You are anyway limb of Shiva, okay? Shiva means that which is not. The huge body of that which is not has a few limbs. Now one may be a galaxy, another may be a star, another may be a solar system, another may be a planet, another may be an atom, another may be you. But all these are just limbs of Shiva, isn't it? Because everything has come from nothing. You are a limb of Shiva, but you are living without that awareness. Can you exist here without being connected to the rest of the universe? When I say universe, not stars, this, that, without being connected to the nothingness in the universe, can you exist here for a moment? You cannot, isn't it? Anyway, you are an extension of Shiva. She… I want you to take this idea, I want to take the calendar god out of your mind and understand Shiva means the limit, limitless expanse of the existence or that which does not exist. Your existence is a limb of that, whether you are an atom or a man or a woman or a tree or a planet or a solar system or a universe, you are still a Shivanga. But you are living without that connection, being conscious of that connection. The nature of human existence is such, whatever you are not conscious of does not even exist for you, isn't it? Yes? Only what you are conscious of exists for you. What you are not conscious of, however big it may be, it is not… it does not exist for you at all. So, this is not a new thing. You are already a limb of Shiva, but we want to bring this into your awareness experientially, not as a philosophy, not as an ideology, not as somebody's teaching, but experientially. So a whole process is set up so that you go through this whole process to come to that experience, establish this in your life that you are actually a limb of Shiva. If you felt connected with the whole universe, would you have fear? Would you have loneliness? Would you have struggle in this world? Would you? Only because you think you are an exist by existence by yourself, you are a unique piece of existence, not connected to anything around you or anybody around you, that is why suffering, that is why loneliness, that is why struggle, that is why fear, isn't it? And that is why death. If you are a limb of Shiva, if you die, you die into it, what's the problem? If you experienced yourself as an extension of this vast nothingness, if you… if this falls down, what will happen? You will only become a part of that, what's the big problem? Only because that experience is not there, there is so much struggle with every little process. Everything is a pro struggle now. Birth is a big struggle, growing up is a big struggle, getting old is a struggle, dying is a big struggle. This is all something that should happen effortlessly because this is a natural process, you don't have to do anything to grow up, isn't it? Yes or no? It is happening, what do you have to do? It's just happening, you just have to facilitate it, that's all. But you are making such a big fuss out of it because you think you are spinning the planet, you think you are running the whole universe and you think you have to manage everything. No, if you are connected, to the limitless process of the existence, the limited will happen effortlessly. Your body, your mind, your life, your spiritual process, your mukti will should happen effortlessly because this is natural for a human being. If you plant a mango seed, a mango seed, a mango plant, you don't have to go and educate the mango plant how to produce a mango, isn't it? If it's well nourished, it will produce mangoes. The similarly, if a human being is fully nourished and becomes a full-fledged human being, to be enlightened, to be liberated should be natural process. That is the nature of life. It is not something that I have to force you to do. It is something should happen because you, are, you feel you are a separate existence. Right now you are unconscious of your unity with the rest. That is why the struggle is going on. Whether it is health, mental balance, fear, becoming joyful, all these things are based in just this, that right now you have the illusion of believing that you are a separate existence by yourself. 
if you do not get me what I am saying, just close your mouth, hold your nose like this for two minutes, you will understand you are connected with the rest of the existence. Yes or no? If you become truly separate, you will fall dead, you will cease to exist. Your existence is possible only because of the connection. But how unfortunate, when you are connected with something so tremendous, not being conscious of it, not knowing it, not experiencing the joy of it, I think it's a crime. So Shivanga is just to avoid that crime. It will have immense benefits in terms of health, well-being, everything, but those are just side effects. Those things don't even concern me. If it concerns you, I'm telling you, bringing physical balance, mental balance, health, well-being, these things will happen. But I feel this should not even be a concern for a human being because every cell in your body is geared to be healthy. Ill health happens only because we somewhere lost tune with it. If we get connected to this dimension of life, health, well-being, prosperity, these things should happen. Above all, living blissfully is a natural process.